Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Microsoft Power Toys, version 0.81, which rolled out a couple of hours ago. And as you may well know, Power Toys can be downloaded for Windows 10 and Windows 11 over from GitHub, or also it's available in the Microsoft Store. Now, in 0.81, with this release, we get a new AI-powered feature, which I posted on back in early April of this year, and I'll leave that video for what it's worth in the end screen if you'd like some more info. And this feature is called Advanced Paste, as you can see, which can convert something you copied to another format. And Microsoft describes this as an AI-powered tool to put your clipboard content into any format you need. And obviously, this is focused more towards developer workflow. So I think your developers are going to be using this more on a regular basis than your average home user. And just take note, though, that this will replace the formatted text in your clipboard with the selected format. Now, obviously, you need to turn uh, the feature on to be able to use it. And Paste with AR says this feature allows you to format your clipboard content with the power of AR. But just take note, an open AR API key is required, which I don't have. So if you want to enable uh, the paste with AR, you need to enter your open API key if you have one into this and obviously save that and then you'll be able to use the feature. And with this um, advanced paste here is just an example, a format to string definition in CH. So basically, this is just an, an example of a format that you can ask it um, basically to be copied to another format and you can enter that using AI and AL then will do that for you. And then if we move down here, you can save multiple items to your clipboard. Um, this is off by default, but if you want to use it, you can toggle it on. And then to open Advanced Paste Window, you use the Windows Shift and V key on your keyboard. And there we go. And this is where you can um, enter the AR command where you want it to uh, something to be copied to another format using AR. But if you don't have the AR option, you can also... Uh, use the manual option. So you can paste as plain text, paste as markdown, paste as JSON, and then yeah, you get your clipboard history, which you can uh, delete if you do not want that uh, in the advanced paste dialog and pop out menu. And then heading back to the shortcuts, um, yeah, is paste as plain text directly. So you've got Windows, Control, Alt, and V, and then you can change the and edit the shortcuts for uh, paste as Markdown directly and paste as JSON directly. But as mentioned, um, this is an AI-powered tool, but I think this is more geared towards developers and won't really be of use to your average home user. But nonetheless, that is the key highlight for version 0.81 of Power Toys. And then something else is that the command not found uh, now uses the PowerShell gallery release and now supports ARM64. So wasn't available previously on ARM64, but command not found. Um, basically, which is a PowerShell module that detects an error thrown by a command and suggests a relevant WinGet package to install if available. This is now available on ARM64 devices. And then something else is that if you are using Dev Home, which is a developer tool available for Windows 10 and Windows 11, and I have posted on using the widgets um, on the widgets board in Windows 11, and I'll leave that video in the end screen as well. They've refracted, packaged, and released the main environment variables editor, host file editor, and registry preview utilities functionality as controls to be integrated into Dev Home. So here we go. And these are three Microsoft Power Toys utilities, host file editor, registry preview, and environment variables editor. Those are Power Toys tools that are now available and have been um, kind of migrated over into Dev Home if you are using the app, which I think if you are a developer is a nice move in the right direction. And then over and above that uh, for Power Toys version 0 0.81, uh, they fixed crashes on older CPUs by updating to .NET uh, to 8.0.4. And then over and above that, there are fixes and improvements to a lot of the utilities and tools which are found in Power Toys. And as you can see, there are a lot of utilities that are now available. And Power Toys is almost becoming its own OS with all this functionality that Microsoft is packing into it. So if you want to find out um, more about the bug fixes and updates and so on, you can click on release notes and that will open that up and take that over you over to GitHub um, in your preferred browser of choice uh, over on Windows. 
And that's 0 0.81 as mentioned. And the key highlight is the new advanced paste, which as mentioned is an AI power tool to put your clipboard content into any format you need. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.